Hey, hey, friends, it's me, Alicia Little, your AI coach, and today we're going to talk about something you probably have heard of but might not actually get, and that is machine learning. And we're going to make it so simple because in today's digital age, understanding machine learning is as crucial because it powers everything from our streaming recommendations to our spam filters. And so I'm going to break it down for you in simple steps that anyone can grasp. So grab your cup of coffee or tea or wherever you're sipping on and let's get started. Are you ready? So imagine this, you're a kid again, and one day you see a cat for the first time and you might point at it and say, what's that? <laughs> and someone, your parents, they tell you that is a cat and you lock that into your brain. Cats are furry, they have whiskers, they have pointy ears, and a little later, another cat strolls by and you say, cat, because you recognize it, you're learning. And each time you see a new cat, you're adding to what you know about cats. So here's the really cool part about this example. This is almost exactly how machine learning works in its simplest form. A computer, like a curious kid, doesn't know much at first, but we can teach it to learn things by showing it lots and lots of examples. Wow. And just like you learn to recognize the cat, the computer learns to identify patterns in the data we give it. Could be pictures of cats. So let me break it down step by step because if you're like me, you like a clear roadmap to understanding things. All right, get ready. Step number one is to gather data. So if for a computer to learn, we first have to give it a bunch of information to work with. Let's stick with cats. <laughs> so we start by showing the computer lots of pictures of cats. Some of these pictures have cats in them, fluffy orange tabbies, sleek black cats, tiny kittens, and some pictures don't. Maybe those are pictures of dogs or cars or even pizza. And for each picture, we include the label, this is a cat or this is not a cat. So let me give you an example. So the first picture is a picture of a fluffy orange tabby cat and it gets labeled, this is a cat. The next picture is of a dog and it gets labeled, this is not a cat. So these labels are the computer's cheat sheet for learning. It doesn't know what a cat is yet, right? It's learning, but it starts to understand as it gets fed the data and you're training it in this case right here. So as we teach the computer, step number two, now that we've got the, all these um, pictures labeled, the computer starts studying them like a detective solving a mystery. Mm -hmm. It looks for clues. Maybe it notices that cats have whiskers, pointy ears, fluffy mm -hmm. tails, and it also learns things that don't have these traits, like a car with wheels. Those are not cats. And the more pictures we show it, the better it gets. Just like when you were a kid, if you saw cats everywhere, you'd get a really good understanding of knowing what is a cat and what is not a cat. Get it? All right, so let's move on to step number three, which is about testing the computer. So here's where the fun part comes in. Now we have to test the computer. So imagine showing it pictures that it's never seen before, maybe a photo now of a kitten. So the computer has to decide, is this mm -hmm. a cat or not? It uses all the patterns it learned from us teaching it to make its best guess. Sometimes it might get it wrong, Maybe it looks at a dog with pointy ears and says cat, but that's okay because just like when you learned as a kid, mistakes are part of the process, right? Now, let's talk about step number four, improve. Let's remember the mistake. So when the computer gets it wrong, we step in to correct it and we say, nope, that is not a cat computer. You got it wrong. And it learns from those mistakes. And over time, with enough correction, it gets smarter and makes fewer and fewer mistakes. Yes. And eventually it gets so good that it can recognize a cat in a split second. Even if it's just a blurry photo of a kitten peeking out of a box. All right. So why is machine learning so cool? Now here's where this gets really exciting. Once the computer is trained, it can do things way faster than we ever could. Imagine trying to sort through 10,000 photos to find all the ones with cats. That might take you hours or days. For me, it would take months. I just wouldn't even want to do it. <laughs> but a computer that's learned to spot cats, it can do that in seconds. And it's not just about cats. Machine learning powers so much of what we use today. So when Netflix recommends a show that you'll love, it's using machine learning. Yes. When your email filters out spam, that's machine learning too. Yes. Even when your phone recognizes your voice, yep, you guessed it, that is machine learning 
learning. Got it? So how is this like human learning? Let's tie it together. When we were kids, we learned by seeing, by listening, and by making mistakes. Machine learning is like giving a computer the ability to do the same thing. But instead of a teacher saying, this is a cat, (laughs) we feed it lots of examples with labels. Instead of the computer getting better over months or years like we do, it can learn in hours because it's super fast. But here is the big difference. A computer doesn't really understand what a cat is the way you and I do. It just learns patterns in the data we give it. So if you give it bad data, it might learn the wrong thing. And that's why machine learning is so powerful, but also why it needs to be handled very carefully. You get it? All right. Good job. So let's go ahead and wrap this all up. Put a pretty bow around it. So to sum things up, machine learning is like teaching a curious computer by showing it lots of examples, whether it's recognizing cats, recommending your new favorite song, or predicting the weather. It's technology that's transforming how we, our lives, how we live and how we work. And it all starts with data. Just like your childhood started with seeing a cat for the first time and learning what it is. So if you've ever wondered how the tech behind your favorite apps work, like on your phone, um, it's just a very curious computer learning one example at a time. All right, so anyway, that's all I've got for you today in this training. I hope that this training helped you to see machine learning in a fun and really simple way. And if you have any questions or you want to share a funny cat story, send me a message. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to check me out for another training. And then also share this with someone you love, just the understanding of what machine learning is and teach it in the sense of data and cats. Anyway, until next time, keep learning.